Okay, here we go. Part two of the head gasket repair. Now let's see if I can't get this in a good spot. And you can actually see. I'm pretty sure you should be able to see that and it might be on a bit of an angle. Bring the mower forward a little bit. Maybe there. Fuck off rag. Alright. New head gasket. Number one. Let's see. Got to get the head, got to go get the bolt. I'll be back in front of the camera in a minute, people. Then we've got the nice clean head, nice and polished there. Alright, I don't know if you tubers can see this, but there is a little groove there that goes towards the head. So the bolt can actually grab on. No, sorry, the other way. If you actually have a look at the block, it goes on the block. That one goes on the head because the head's flat. So what you do, place it like so. Get at least two of your bolts. Wedge them in there. Tink is always good. Now I'm probably going to be in the way a little bit, so I'm going to go to the other side. I need to take this extension off so I can half screw them in. Don't forget it is a head. So if you don't put them in evenly, they won't grab properly. Here we go. Couple of little turns. Just to get it to grab. So it holds your gasket in place. Alright, so it's halfway in. Get this one halfway in. So the, the key to only doing it halfway is because you don't got the other two bolts. So you, you kind of need to do them up simultaneously. A little bit for this one, a little bit for that one. It's a bit the same as the car head. Not really because it's alloy and it won't warp because it's not going to get excessively heated up really quickly. So just do it finger tight first. Where well, you know the gasket's in place. Now when I start this, you should start up good gun. You know, ready to roll. Ready to finish the lawn that it blew up halfway through. I'll give you the gander at that. We've got like a grass mohawk going on. Friggin' half a lawn done because the fucking head gasket decides on a two stroke it's not going to leak oil and leak oil and fuel and it's going to spray the shit all over your motor which is just near your spark plug and if that lead down there happens to have a split in it and it throws a bit of a spark, your friggin' mower's going to go up in flames. Trust me, I've seen that, I've done that, and I've had to run it to attack real friggin' quick because I didn't have the friggin' hose available. I was literally doing a lawn for a preschool. Funny enough, it was the exact same model and brand of mower, Victor Pace, which I think is from 1994 to 96. Almost surfing on that. Now, don't worry about the smell that you're going to get because the smell that you're going to get is the gasket burning. You don't use sealant on a head gasket on a mower. Or on a car for that matter. There is no sealant involved. It's all pressure and heat. There you are. That looks all nice and tight. My 13 buck socket set. Didn't need it really for anything else other than the mower. Okay. Put the breather hose back on for the condenser. Make sure she's on tight. There's that spark plug. There it is. I don't know how many people know this, but you're really not supposed to do a spark plug up very tight because you got a piston behind that. 